What's going on, my good people? Yeah, Real Talk TV with another video coming at y'all. Y'all already know. I've been kind of tied up, you know. I sell uh, cars for a living. That's what I do, you know what I'm saying? But I come on here and I drop gems, you know what I'm saying, every now and then. But uh, I'm going to be dropping gems more often, you know what I'm saying? Be more consistent, you know. So let's get these likes and shares up. You see the title. I know somebody out there can relate. It's like you went from everybody speaking to you. What up, dog? What up, homie? What's up? What's up, Shawty? Hey, Shawty. Hey, what's going on, Shawty? So now they see you, and them motherfuckers like they got the doo doo, like they got the boo boo, like they stomach hurt or some shit. And you be like, damn, what I do? You feel me? It's not you, but it is you. But it's really them. They can see the light in you. They can see that light inside of you. They can see that they can see what you cannot see inside of you. The intelligence. Uh, they can see the brightness. They can see your glow. They can see your aura. They can feel your power. That's why certain people that used to speak to you, male and female, they don't speak no more. They feel intimidated. You make them feel small when you're not even trying to. I'm one of the most humble human beings on the planet. I am. I listen to any and everybody. Homeless because I've been homeless. Carless because I've been carless. Soulless because I've been soulless. But this is the thing. It's not my fault. God put me in this chosen position. It's not my fault that I'm aware that my words are powerful. It's not my fault that I know I am full of the great I am that I am that I am. It's not my fault that you don't know that. And it's all on awareness. It's all based off of you knowing and not knowing. When you know your, your greatness, it will show. It says that your fruit that your fruit will show. And it will. Don't feel bad or down because people stop speaking to you. Be excited. Because that means that you made it, nigga. That means that you in a position where niggas are telling on themselves. They showing you their cards. They showing you their hands. It don't matter what you get in life. If somebody fuck with you, they fuck with you. It don't matter what, what you wear. It don't matter what kind of clothes you got on. It don't matter about none of that shit. It don't matter what you drive. It don't matter if you walk. It don't matter if you catch the bus. If somebody fuck with you, they fuck with you. Period. Now, when you start, when you start elevating and people start migrating and start speaking, that's a good sign. That means they won't for you in the first place. So don't question yourself. Question your greatness. Question how question how amazing you are. Ask you ask yourself, you must ask yourself, you, you got you gotta be like, dang, I must be phenomenal. I must be doing something great. I knew that person was flawed. I knew that person was fake. I knew that person was pocket watching. I knew that girl won't won't hit no shit. It's women out here jealous of men. Women. I ain't talking about studs. Because they feel intimidated. Especially the narcs. The narcissist. See, I'm not a narcissist. I don't just sit and think and talk about myself. I think and talk about my family a lot. I do a lot for my family. I do a lot for the ones around me. But... You got women out here who will stop dating you and stop talking to you and say you the problem. But then when you leave, they still have the same problem. They still have the same issues. They still have the same conflicted thoughts. So just remember, the reason that people do this is because you are chosen. When you walk in a room, and it's like everybody just stops and look at you. Or, they, or you get these weird looks. You can feel the energy in the room. 
it's 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 like you walk in the room and you're the pink elephant, right? Anybody ever had that experience before? You walked in and you were you were the like. I can't even explain it, but I can explain it, but I can't explain it. You got to understand and understand to overstand, and the only way out is in, and that's what they don't realize. You've tapped into yourself. You've tapped into your, your meditation. You know that your words are powerful. You know that if you say, I am great, that you are great. You know that if you say, uh thousands of dollars is going to flow my way that it's going to happen and you know this for a fact me i know that for a fact now it's not just i'm not i'm not lying to myself <laughs> i could lie to you but i can't lie to myself so dig it don't feel bad because people walk out of your life embrace the ones that are in your life Hey, check this out. Like, share, and subscribe this video. If you can relate. If you can relate. I don't beg for likes and stuff like that. I don't beg for views. But if this helps you in some type of way, like and get and subscribe and share this video. It's a lot of stuff that's popular that shouldn't be popular. It's a lot of stuff that got millions of views that shouldn't have it. A lot of stuff that, that doesn't make sense. You see, you are a spiritual being having a human experience, not the other way around. I don't knock religion. I'm not religious at all. I don't believe Christ himself was religious. To be honest, that's a nice car. To be honest, I don't think so. Because religion divides. And conquers. And that's what he's done. I'm spiritual. Like Ralph, Ralph Smart said, religion is for people who are afraid to go to hell. Spirituality is for people who've already been there. I'm going to leave y'all with that. Peace.